Hi guys, so today I have a video for you, a little uh, different. Um, so Tonic just launched their new official magazine, Issue 3. Uh, I actually don't know the name of it right now, That when I'm filming, I'm filming this intro early. So they did send these items free of charge uh, for me to try out and to use for the magazine itself. And um, I will link the magazine in the description box, so that would be an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing items to those links. But before I start making my own project that will be featured in the magazine, um, I do have the goodies that will come in the magazine. So. I want to share them with you just so that you can have an idea of what that looks like and then I'm going to open them and do the project that I need to do and then maybe I'll come back and do a little something else but I just want to walk through it uh, just you know before I open 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 everything up um, so we have the stamp set and let me open this a little bit oh yes you know, the magazine feels so nice. If you've picked one up, it has like a velvet feel. It's just very sturdy. Tons of projects, some extra, you know, articles in there. And these are photopolymer stamps, you know, so it's... I feel like no expense is spared when they make this magazine here. Uh, they do it in-house. So we have Let's Make Memories, Bon Voyage, Travel Time. So hopefully you can see kind of the theme is more like travel and things. Let's go, enjoy. Sorry, I'm this getting so excited here. I got tongue-tied. <laughs> this suitcase belongs to, and then it has like little postage, you know, cancellation, little postage, and the adventure begins. Summer, happy holidays, little stack of um, uh, luggage, which is super adorable. This was like a little window, like a little uh, sunny beach there. We have the little airplane with his little... <laughs> it's flying there sending you sunshine lots of cute little things the world little travel all kinds of fun things then we have the stencil and the stencil again great quality stencil um, this one has like a little background that looks just kind of like a um, kind of mishmash of different types of traveling uh, icons you have the little edge that you can make it look like clouds or you know however you want to use it we have one way the little um, coconuts on the palm tree there super cute uh, we have all this uh, gorgeousness just fun stuff right all very travel and then this little skyline I thought that was really sweet really interesting never seen something like that before so that'll be fun to work with and then the die set and you guys know the die set is super amazing now let's look at this the piece de resistance as I say <laughs> The big boy so as you can see this is going to make like a little it can be a gift card holder or a gift holder or just a gift box however you want to use it or just like a little something cute um it makes like a suitcase basically or like a little travel case so we have this larger piece and so i'm gonna put that back down i just wanted you to see that and know that and then we have this piece here so this one does like stitching but also makes little holes if you want to use that as an option this one um has a back uh sorry an inlay and then a background die so it's like these little slats they're super cute this one has the stitching and then the other inlay so again with inlays you can mix and match them the little handles and different styles the little corners that you can put on your little suitcase oh my gosh like buckles the little camera <laughs> i haven't really looked at this i just brought it out right now because i need to work with it um but look at this so we have the little outline and then the little this portion is not inlay it's going to make its own little um decoration you know what i'm saying so you have those two pieces um best summer ever and then with a background adventure with a background we have the little airplane um i'm assuming this is probably one of the sides here to put this guy together as you can see or the top or something right that's one of the parts that we need again another decoration for that we have uh, enjoy the journey and a little tag. Oh my gosh, I love a tag die because you can just use this to cut out any sentiment or things that you're using in any project, right? Love them. Um, we have the word explore. So these are embossed kind of things. So it says fun in the sun, have fun, explore, and then it has the circle to cut out. It has a little label or tag to cut it out. And this is another one. The little tag, the little globe. Oh my gosh, <laughs> background. And then again, this guy's um, oh, and this is in different pieces, so you can have different colors. That's really cool. So we have this piece that does its own thing, right? It's not an inlay, but this is an inlay for this guy. And then you have the background piece. The little palm tree. Oh, I love the way they did this. So the background, then this little guy that does like a little thin line. The sunglasses. This is a fun die to have, I'm telling you. You know, things like this are just super adorable because you can cut it out on the same piece of paper a couple times and then like glue it together so it's kind of thick and it feels more substantial. It looks like little sunglasses you can put as a little, you know, ephemera or something here and there. You guys. And then the background. And then we have um, good vibes and it's a little tag with a little ticket kind of area around the edge here and then uh, the words good vibes if you want to pop that in it looks like a stencil 
uh, material. This little tag, it looks like a little ticket. This whole thing, <laughs> it's like a ticket here. Another, you know, label tag, little arrow. And then a little suitcase just on its own, which is really nice. And you know what? I should measure these for you guys, at least that, because they're put this to the side sorry <laughs> they're a really nice size um let's see like this little guy he is about two and a half inches or so by two and a quarter or something like that and then this larger die let me measure that for you six inches across by just under five and a half in the other direction okay because i know a lot of people would like to know that info and then you know the sizing on the other items you can kind of see from what i'm showing you here and let's look at our papers I had seen this one in the back. Look at that. Actually, what I'll do is move all these shiny things over. I just want to move everything over. Let's go this way. Yeah, that's good because the foil pieces are on top and my camera still is like, what's going on? Okay. So we have these little bits. They're die cut pieces. There are two pages of them. On one side, they are foiled and looking awesome. And the other side, they're more matte. Really sweet little tags we have the same tag basically in the die but you have these guys here that you just pop out so and the adventure begins I mean these are all little tags the suitcase belongs to you know what's fun with this is that you can copy these because we have the stamps that look like all this and you can basically copy them to make your own little uh, tags and dies later tags and dies die cuts I guess is what I wanted to say miss you get ready we're moving time to relax if he travels and on the back side similar um, just not with the foil right so you can choose to use them either way. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Oh, and that can go right on your little suitcase. Really sweet. Look at this. I know my camera's like, no, <laughs> too shiny. I'll have, I'll have to hold it this way just so it doesn't get so dark. You see that? It gets dark. Light blue paper with that beautiful silver foil all over. On the back, it's like little uh, gingham. Is that gingham? I always forget. Gingham's a little square one, isn't it? Let's just say a design. <laughs> okay, so then we have this guy here. Uh, one of my subscribers had given me a history lesson on Gingham, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know all that stuff. But that's like the little, this one. <laughs> so plaid design. Okay, let's go. Uh, white goodness, paper with I am tongue tied. And on the back side is the blue hound's tooth, like a little light blue. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. This color palette is so pretty. So pretty with the white paper and the uh, silver. And then on the back, it has all the little airplanes and everything. I mean, this is the cutest. Oh, my goodness. Where am I putting them? Like this way? I should turn that one over. So um, That beautiful blue. It's just, I want to say almost periwinkle, but it's still more blue than periwinkle, you know? The silver foil. Look at the little airplanes. <laughs> so cute. And this one has a travel time. Let's go with that beautiful little kind of pale peachy pink going through. I know it's hard to show it. Sorry, guys. And then, oh, the lime green with the white dots so cute my goodness and then this is the one that we just saw in the back so it's the white paper with the silver foil again there is just so much foil <laughs> these are papers are so gorgeous and then the gingham the blue gingham and then they repeat yeah so you get two of each sheet so i am going to excuse myself to do some work <laughs> and then i will be back okay guys so i got my projects done hopefully you'll see them there in the um magazine you know uh, now that it's launched uh real quick I, you know i i pretty much used up a lot of paper <laughs> and then whatever i cut up i like try to keep together so i can use those pieces later um i totally skipped over this whole big guy in the center here look how pretty this is i mean we have this outer die and then that inlay that does like a little i don't know like a little pattern that, you know coordinates back with this little guy here and then in the center we have this little guy that we can use and then this centerpiece that can pop in there if you want. It says Bon Voyage and even has like the little airplane and like, I don't know, it kind of looks like water, like, you know, movement. So cute. So for this video, you know, I think we'll do a little something. So let me uh, think about what that is I'm going to do and I will be right back. Okay, guys. So fast forward like a couple months. I am going to do a little project with the items that I have here. I am waiting on the magazine to actually come in. When it comes in, I'll unbox it. But of course, um, you know, this is the main um the dies and all those kinds of things then we'll check out the magazine when that comes in but um, I know the video begins with you know I just received these items I want to show you how they look when they're nice and pristine and now they've you know been played with and here we go so um, what I'm gonna do is the little uh, suitcase but if you look at this outer die the larger die it makes a cute little suitcase it makes like basically a, kind of like a rectangular shape um, 3d rectangular shape so on this side it has these two lines so when you bring it up when you fold it 
you can put two of these together and it's like a double suitcase that opens up like this you make it out of frame do whatever you like with it of course but what I'm gonna do today is something a little bit different because when I look at this I'm like hmm um, I'm gonna make it a single suitcase so it only has the one 3dness to it which would be about three quarters of an inch deep like this area and seeing this flap I think we can tuck it in and then just cut another piece on the top because it'll make sense in just a minute so I'm gonna cut two of these or we're gonna measure this and cut it ourselves we'll see Excuse me, but for, for now, now I'm just gonna cut one out actually and then we'll measure the space and maybe I'll just cut a piece this is craft card now this isn't actually craft card because you can see how thin it is um, it's craft color <laughs> but usually craft card is thicker especially like the tonic one this is not tonic craft card um, but I'm gonna run that through uh, and then we can decorate it so you know uh, we need these two well actually we don't have to use this one yet I'll talk about this in a minute so I'm going to leave it there for now, but you can see we have all these decorations, we can decorate the side. What I think I'm going to do is the initial construction and then we'll add on our other pieces just so we'll have those things kind of separate, okay? okay but so I'll be right back. Let's get this. This is this little guy. Just cut it down run it through and I will measure this larger die for you. This is the largest die of the set. And if I didn't measure it before because I don't recall right now, uh, it's been a while. Five and just under five and a half inches. I'm measuring the metal, so you know, by five and seven eighths, so almost six inches, but five and seven eighths, okay? So we have this guy, and what I, okay, what you generally use, you're going to cut two of them if you want it to be like the double suitcase, so when you open it up, it has, you know, you open it this way. The way I'm going to open is more of a gift box, um, where the other one is also a gift box, but it just has two sides. Um, I'm going to go ahead and score everything. I'm folding it in from this outside here, and so this part, you would do the same with if you're gonna do this what I'm showing you or if you're gonna do the other you just fold it like this and we're gonna glue it together and then you have another one you have two you glue those together right here in the center so if you had another one again it's gonna look just like this <laughs> but you're gonna glue it here and then you fold it and so if you can imagine there's two cases and you open it like this right where they meet up right here but what I'm going to do is something a little bit different. I'm going to use this more as a flap to close it. When you tuck it in like this. And that means we need this front piece. That's all I was saying. You can cut this out twice and then just trim away this excess. Um, you know, you're going to waste some paper that way. So I think what I'm going to do is just measure this and then cut that down. Just cut a piece of cardstock to that size. Because I'm just doing something a little bit different than intended. So, I mean, that is perfectly three and three quarters by two and five eighths okay so the two and five eighths is a little bit trickier three and three quarters by two and five eighths so let me see I'm gonna kind of eyeball this because I have this little mini trimmer and it goes to um, just kind of bring it out like this uh, let's see let's go two and a half two and five eighths just over the two and a half two and five eighths right there by three and three quarters. This goes to three and a half, but I can kind of eyeball that last part. So let's just, uh, I'll put this side, uh, like about there. Look at that. Okay, let me clean up a little bit and we'll just glue so this together. All I'm going to do is just glue this together and have our basic little box. But again, if you were doing the other one, you would do the exact same thing. You put glue on the tabs here. I'm going to bring this up for now. And just glue tab that one. And I'll let that set up for a second before I move on. And again, if you're doing the double box, you would do the same thing, the double suitcase, the larger suitcase. And actually, these little straps are made to work with that, because I don't know if you can see this little strap here, how wide it is, and the score mark is wide enough to do the two sides, right, when you put the two together. But I'm just going to use the same strap to decorate and just not pay attention to the score lines I'll do my own you know I'll just fold it over however it needs to go to fit and we have this little guy here so I'm gonna wait for this to set up and then we're just gonna put glue here and apply this little front piece okay. and I'm gonna put a little glue here again if you were making the double-sided um, little luggage suitcase you would do the same thing so you put glue there and that's kind of what holds this together and then this side over here the other one comes in so with the other one you could take this piece, cut two of them, and what you would do is go ahead and fold it up and score it and everything, and it would go right in here, okay? So then these two are connected. Let's pretend this is the other one out here. Same thing, you're created the same way. So it's two complete little containers. You know, nothing falls out the side or anything like that. 
But for me, for today, what I'm going to do again is just make the one single suitcase that's like a little gift card holder or whatever. Whatever you can put in a three quarter inch thing like that, right? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And then this is the piece that I cut down. And what I'm going to do is put glue right on the edges here. Again, if I remember the numbers, it was three and three quarters by two and five eighths. And I'm just going to take that and place it right on top here and hold that down until the glue sets up. Okay, and I'll be so right I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. And then, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna make it so that this tucks in, okay? So just to do that, I'm going to trim these off just so it's, it tucks in a little bit easier. And I'm just eyeballing this. I mean, you can take that same little piece and put it over here just so you know that you're doing the same, you know, cut. You just line it up there, but I'm just gonna eyeball this and just cut it down from the very edge to where it folds in, okay? And that's gonna help us bring that in. I wasn't really gonna do it right now because the glue is still wet and I don't want it to push away, but that's how I'm doing that to make it close. So we're just gonna decorate this. Now you have all these different things for your little suitcase. Um, you know, these little side pieces. Actually, where does this trim go? This trim, I'm just trying to see how big it is. Yeah, it's for if you want to use it on the sides, like the bottom here or the very top, do a little decoration. You also have this inlay that has this cool kind of like laddering. Um, these little guys go on the sides. So this one has stitch marks along the edge where this one's more of a plain side. Again, that same little like kind of laddering that we have here. We have this little like, herringbone or I think that's the kind of pattern it is. I don't know why I want to cut herringbone, if that's correct. Hopefully <laughs> it repeats there. So, you know, you have all those decorations. You can just use this and use your pretty papers to just cut something. Um, so I'm trying to debate in my mind. What do I want to do? I, was, I really wanted to use this inlay. But at the same time, you know, we have all these. This is um, Bon Voyage. You know, we have all these different little things that, of course, I use some up for my different projects. That I sent in for the magazine so um, you know we have tags that are already pre-made uh, you can make your own again with the dies um, you know what I'll do I will cut this out of some brown paper just to bring like another vintage kind of travel look to it so I'm gonna pair these guys up I'm gonna find like a dark brown oh did I find it already <laughs> I did <laughs> okay so um, I always have a a little basket of scrap papers or papers that I've recently used next to me so I will run this through and it's gonna peel uh, you know I'll put that beautiful inlay should I say in there um, if you want to back that up with something else then you can also cut you know just that outline the outer die by itself uh, but I think I'm just gonna set it on here just like this and since we're doing that if we want to put some some more decoration Let's go ahead and take these guys, and we have two sides, right? These two little sides to decorate. So I will do this twice, okay? So I'll stick that down again with some washi here and run those through. And I'll run this one through twice, okay? So I'll be right back. It just comes out <laughs> like so clean and clear. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, there's my other piece. And then I guess I'm going to do this one twice. Look at that. Again, I'm just making it look a little kind of old school, kind of like rattan, I suppose. Um, we can also cut the handle, and I'll probably also do in brown, since, you know, we're in there with that uh, feel. Um, and, you know, you have your little handles. What's really cute about this piece here is this piece actually cuts into this area if you wanted it to. Well, at least the way I created this. Um, you would just run that through, and then what it's going to do is do a little stitching for you, and it's also going to make these little holes, and then you can put, like, twine or baker's twine or whatever kind of ribbon that's uh, small enough to go through that little hole, and you can put your own little handle. Really cute. Just so many ways to play with this. Um, so I'm going to cut, let's say, this little guy out of the same dark brown, too, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Again, it just comes out, like, so crisp and clean. Look at this. Look at the detail. So cute. Okay. Um, so all I'm going to do is take a moment and just glue these down because that's how it is. You know, do you want the arrow kind of... Oh, that's so funny. It's like a mind trick because when I looked at it first, I'm like, oh, the arrows are going up. But then if you look at it again, they're going down like this because it doesn't matter if you're looking at this pair or this pair, right? So I will leave it just the way it is. I'm going to glue this down here on the front and then I'll glue these side pieces onto the side and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and glued those down. 
look at that. And this one I did have them facing down because again, it depends on like what pair you're looking at. But with these, are they're already paired up and they're a certain way, so I just put them facing down. When I'm all done, I will add this to the very top. Oh my goodness, you guys! Again, you can still decorate that more. I mean, there's plenty of things to do that with. Um, what I really love is like all these different little tag dies and all these different things. I mean, look at this tag that's you know separate from the other part. The little oh my gosh, the little airplane, which is super cute. Um, the camera, you guys, I mean, the sunglasses, look how adorable. <laughs> so, like, all those little things, you know, you can make your own little tickets. Of course, we have the stamps. You can stamp it and then cut out with the ticket dies. There's just a lot going on here. Um, we are going to do the buckle and think, well, okay. So, the way I made mine, I'm not sure that I need to put the buckle on it because I'm going to put this little guy. But what you can do is just, you don't have to put it completely around. So, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just put a little fake buckle here so we can have that uh, detail still um or you just trim it that's all you have to do uh let's see you know we have enjoy the journey like this suitcase belongs to how cute is that <laughs> that's really sweet because if it's like a little party favor or just a little something you're going to give somebody for their little gift you know again a gift card or something okay maybe we'll do that and then um we'll do some other little accent pieces so for right now what i'm going to do is go ahead and cut um, really, if I'm going to use this as an accent piece, I really probably only just need the one. I can cut it right in half, right? To just come around this way. So, let's do that. I'm going to cut this from black paper, okay? And I'll be right back. A little piece here. Again, we're going to cut that one in half, just because I'm just going to do a half, you know, the front's decorated. You want to decorate the back, of course, you can just um, do that too. Continue it maybe to the back side there. And then we have these little buckles, and there's two different ones. Even with that, you have a choice of buckles. So, I'm going to use this little guy. And I grabbed this scrap of gold paper, so what I'm going to do is just cut this little guy out twice, okay? From this paper, okay. and I'll be right back. So I am just going to cut this little guy in half. Again, the score line is actually going to help me fold it over on the edge. So I'm just looking to where the half is. It seems like it's right here. There's actually a little dot there from the die. And I'm just going to do my best to cut it kind of straight. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just glue these on. Um, to our little area. I might just hold on to it anyway, so let me see. We string that up with that. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Push that down. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Actually, I'm not even going to glue it yet. And then this, I'm just going to score it on the score line because, like I said, this is intended to make like a double suitcase, and so I'm only using half of it, and so we have it there. Whatever hangs off the rest, I can either fold it back or just cut it off when I'm done. So that's fine. I'll leave that there. I'll do the same thing with this one, and I'll be right back. Let's bring these little guys over. I'm going to go ahead and adhere them. And so what I'm going to do is put glue all down here. Put that back where I want it, about there, something like that. And just trying to see where I might want to place that. Go ahead and put this on here too. And you know, we're going to have our little tag here, so it's just, I'm going to tuck this over here. It's a good spot for it. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. Just eyeball it and glue that down right there. Okay. Funny enough, I didn't have to trim off anything off the back because you know how it is whenever I talk about pop-ups and things like this. When you're folding something over on top of something else, they don't occupy the same space, right? They can't because, like, that's impossible. So um, whenever I fold this over, it did take up that little slack. So I'm not going to have to trim anything off, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and just glue this on here. Actually, this can even go on the back, right, and then do the decoration on the front however you want. I mean, this is just... So cute and so quick, honestly, um, with all those bits here. Look at that. And then we're going to put this on top at the end because I feel like this is the finishing touch. So I'm going to wait on that one. And then, um, you know, just you can cut different little things to do a little something more. We have these pieces that will give you uh, little corner pieces. So all you do is cut those and just fold them on the score lines. And they're going to be little corners that stick on if you would want them to be there. Since I'm making this so that it opens, I'm not going to put those on top. Um, but, let's see. I'll just cut one of these little airplanes. It's kind of a little more masculine suitcase. Um, so I think I'm going to cut it out, actually, maybe from a silver. Yeah, why not? Because there's, like, silver in the little... So I'm going to cut this from a silver piece of paper, and I'll be right back. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to pop a little dimensional adhesive on the back of this guy. Let me see. This little small one I can put there. 
and maybe just one more piece back here to support it a little bit and I'll just pop that on here how adorable is that really quick and I'll give you a measurement in just a moment and then we have this little guy so I'm gonna pop him up I'm just kinda rounding it maybe do that there put a little glue here a little glue there and I'm gonna pop this on top so I'm gonna pay attention to kinda where the center is just hold them down with a little bit of a oomph in the center so I'm gonna hold these down to the setup and I'll be right back okay guys so I'll just bring this stuff back over so um, we made this sweet little uh, gift box at least that's how I'm looking at it look at the little <laughs> handle it's so cute um, and the finished size of this little guy is uh, three and three quarter inches wide by like two and an eighth inches tall and again about three quarters of an inch a little over three quarters of an inch thick and um, again if you make it the double suitcase it's you know thicker than that <laughs> so you have those different sides so check it out um, I'll have the links in the description box I mean this is just adorable and yeah just plenty of room to put you know gift cards some cash maybe some candies and a gift card or just whatever you're gonna place in there but really really cute um, yeah so I'll have the links in the description box for you guys I will uh, have some images coming up and I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching this video that was months in the making. <laughs> Alright guys, bye now.